See, we got some questions. Please ask me those questions if you've got uh, got some questions to ask. Yes. Does it matter if you eat supersized portions of food? Pretty interesting here. You know, like in the 1970s, obesity was not an epidemic. And back then, if you ordered French fries in a regular size, that was a serving of French fries. But now, if you go to some fast food restaurants and order supersized, what do you get? You can imagine how much fat and calories are involved in that. So absolutely yes, supersize is not good for you. You can imagine a supersized burger, supersized fries, and a supersized drink. You've had more calories than you need the whole day. Unless you really work it off, you're going to be overweight. You're going to get fat. Who else has a question? Yes. Do, I still need milk and if so, do you still need milk? And if so, what kind? You absolutely do. The pediatricians tell us that babies need whole milk up to like age two from two to five, two percent milk, because whole milk, you know, it has cholesterol and fat, and babies have to have that for their nervous system development, for the brain and, and nerves. But once you get like eight years and older, low fat or non-fat milk is probably what you ought to drink. But if you don't like milk, you can go dairy products. They tell me that 20 ounces of dairy products a day is probably what you ought to have, even if it's ice cream, cheese, yogurt, whatever, but the low fat stuff. So uh, the milk products have vitamin D, proteins, a lot of vitamins and minerals. It's good for you. You, you need it. It's still good for you. Yes? Is sugar okay to eat and do we eat too much? I asked the dietitian before I came here how much sugar on the average you guys consume a year. And the answer was 250 pounds. They say adults consume 150 pounds. Now, that includes all the sugars you take in. You know, there are sugars in vegetables, sugars in fruits, and then, and then there's refined sugars like, you know, the stuff that you get out of the bag. That's a lot of sugar. So I think that's something that we can think about. We probably take in way too much sugar. Yes? What about fast foods? Are they bad? Great question! Great, with such enthusiasm, too. I wish I'd have thought of that. Yeah, some fast foods are awful. Some fast foods are, are full of cholesterol and fat. Some fast foods are not so bad. You know, if you get fast foods which are grilled and in smaller portion, or if you get fast foods like our salads, you know, that kind of stuff's okay. So you can make some choices at a fast food restaurant. You have to pick and choose what you eat. You can, you can, you can look, you have to pick and choose. But you know, in general, you can make a real mistake at fast food places. And uh, some people think that that's part of our obesity problem is fast food choices. Who has a question? Some people are on and off a weight loss diet all the time. Is that good? Some people are on and off a weight loss diet all the time. Is that good? Do any of you guys know people like that? Yes. They're on a diet. They lose some weight. They may or may not lose some weight. And then they congratulate themselves by going off the diet. And then they get fat again and then they get back on the diet and they lose a little weight. That is not good. Basically what happens is, you know, they're trying to control their weight by diet alone and that just does not work. Every time you lose weight, your body resets the thermostat because it does not want you to lose weight. Your body's programmed to preserve life and so that means maintain weight. So you, get, you begin to gain weight at lower caloric intakes. So that's a vicious cycle of being fat. What you have to do is the caloric intake or the diet over here, the level of exercise over here. You have to balance these things so you maintain a healthy lifestyle and a healthy weight. Michael Phelps, the Olympic swimmer, you know he would eat 10,000 to 12,000 calories a day when he was in training. That's about five times adult caloric intake. But he would really work out. Was he fat? He had his balance. So, I mean, if you're going to work out and work out hard, then you can take more calories in. But if you're not, then you can't. So what you have to do is pick out your lifestyle, your healthy choices of diet and exercise. And while I'm talking about that, let's throw in cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, all that other stuff, because those are choices as well. But right now we're talking about obesity. And so those are healthy choices. Who else has a question? Yes. Is there one most important meal of the day? And that would be? Breakfast. Absolutely. You guys know that. Do not skip breakfast because that gets your metabolism going. 
that fuels your brain, it helps you learn, it helps you think. Do not skip breakfast. That's an extremely important meal. Who has a question? Yes. You guys know that. How many servings of fruit and vegetables per day? How many? Five. Yeah, five. Yeah, and more's okay, you know. Let's say yes. You you need to get one hour a day. And you can divide that up into 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and 20 minutes. You can do it all in an hour. You can do more than an hour if you want. But an hour of vigorous exercise a day is really good for guys your age. What is your question? You like meat. Is that okay? Yes, it is okay. Our genetics say that we can eat meat. You know, I think sometimes we eat too much. But what the pediatricians tell me is peel the skin off a of chicken and cut the fat off of beef and eat proper portion sizes, which means about the size of your hand, not a big plate full of steak. That's what the pediatricians tell me. We probably eat too much meat, but that's the answer.